Hey everybody, video here for you today. Now I am working on some longer videos. We are going to go to Turkey. We're going to go back to Egypt for a pretty important one. I've got a few other things planned, but I've been pretty busy since I got back from Florida. My mouth is finally feeling decent and 100% and I can almost talk normally again. So things are looking up. I have to keep on doing this Ancient America series today. But today we're going down to Chillicothe, Ohio, and this just this town has many earthworks and ancient ruins in it and mounds so this just gives you an idea how vast this culture was one town has many different sites here this is the Hopewell Culture National Historic Park you can see the mounds here I'll just back out get an idea where we are right on the river of course here's the historic park we're talking about today the Adena mound that the Adena culture was named after right down here this is ross county ohio and down in chillicothe we have some earthworks we have the junction group and i will leave links for a few of those videos below but here driving along this road this is the only thing that you really cannot see from the road that's a little unfortunate but here are the mounds let's take a look at what this place looks like with all the trees gone but here from overhead you can kind of get an idea of the mounds at the site and kind of see a wall here let's remove all this stuff look at some lidar and then looking at lidar you can kind of get an idea of the inner embankment wall the mounds one long one here clearly shown and then it looks like an outer embankment wall probably but this site was large and it's in a city that is full of ancient ruins and this is an artist rendition done by richard thornton of what this place used to look like maybe two thousand years ago but it says, sacred space is a place for reflection in the past and today, earthen mounds and embankments forming huge geometric enclosures. Grace the landscape of the Ohio River Valley. These monumental structures were built by Native American hands almost 2,000 years ago. Hopewellian people gathered at these earthworks for feasts, funerals, and rites of passage. But the name Adena and Hopewell just names that we place on these people because we don't even know who they are. This is Trek, Ohio. It says, what's known as the Mound City Group is part of the Hopewell Culture National Historical Park in Ross County, Ohio. This land was used for funeral rituals by Native American civilization that flourished between 200 B.C. and 500 A.D. Mound City is approximately 13 acres in size. A low earthen wall about 3 to 4 feet high lies around the perimeter. Its shape is that of a square with rounded corners. Perhaps the builders of Mound City thought the wall was a sacred enclosure separating the land of the departed from the land of the living. I think some of the mounds and some of the things in here have been restored, but here is the earthen wall surrounding the enclosure. But this park was investigated in the 1800s by Squires and Davis, who did work for the Smithsonian. But a lot of the earthworks in Ohio are similar to the geometrical earthworks found in the Amazon, shown here. Does that look anything different than the Amazon ruin? Not by much. Here is the biggest mound at the park. The tallest mound, it says it was first measured in the 1840s. The building beneath it was complex. A sunken room was entered along a ramp. When this room was no longer used, the builders left behind only a shallow basin. Its clay lining baked red by many fires. Sometime later, leaving a set of posts in place, they filled in the room and built a new clay fire basin exactly above the old one. Upon a new floor, a puddled clay and sand, they erected a building and laid out ten cremation burials on log-supported earthen platforms. And here's the biggest mound and three other mounds that are kind of lined up in a row. And then the long mound right in front of it. Now here are some post holes found at the site that uh, supported a house. Illustration of what they look like here. Here's a diagram of how the mounds were built. Gravel and then clay. Layers of sand on top of layers of clay at the bottom here. It says here, although the museum inside the visitor's center at the park displays a small portion of artifacts disinterred from Mound City, many of the finest artifacts have been spirited away to distant museums. Some were excavated in the 1800s for the British Museum. Many other artifacts were taken away to be displayed at the Chicago World's Fair also in 1893. And some of these ended up at the Peabody Museum at Harvard. But like the Tremper Mound I did the video on maybe three or four weeks ago, this place was filled with effigy pipes. Let's just watch the video here. A large bag 
left next to this clay basin was filled with ashes, beads, some copper items, and about 200 carved effigy pipes, all purposely broken. The pipe bowls portray a variety of animals carved with accuracy and great artistry. Three showed human heads. In accord with American Indian tradition, the figures may portray personal guardian spirits, and deliberately destroying them was a way of releasing their powers. Yet how would personal pipes end up together in this large collection, very much like another found at the Tremper Mound 40 miles to the south? Were they pilgrimage offerings? Tokens of community? Or were the ancients renewing life by burying the pipe creatures in the earth like seeds? But I find those effigy pipes fascinating. Spirit animals, the smoke rising, the spirit rising. Is that what it has to do with? Well, it very well could, but certainly a hazy mystery coming from this culture here. But that is my video on the Hopewell Culture National Historic Park. Also should be noted, we have lost a giant earthwork just south of here. Here is the Squire and Davis map from the mid-1800s. This large earthwork here totally lost to time just south of the site here. But Ohio is full of ancient ruins. And so is this whole region of the country. But just documenting another ancient America site. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.